Hello and welcome to another Leica review. Today we will be discussing one of Leica's latest products called Leica T. This product has been in the market for some time, but we have never done a review on this one, not on video at least. And we have had many requests to discuss this product and what their competitors would be doing and if it would be wise enough to buy this one. Now, for those who have been used to classic Leica products like the Leica M series, have found this new compact design to be not so suitable for their use. But on our examination, we have found this camera to be an exceptional camera to use. And beyond that, it's a very versatile camera. Now today, as we talk about the functionality of this camera, I'll be discussing what it will compare with the other market products, including the Leica Q. Firstly, this camera is a very compact design. You probably have seen this camera's advertisements made out of solid block of aluminium. And it is hand polished. Now this camera comes in black and silver and you can buy them with lenses that are available. So they've covered all lenses from 11 millimeters, which translates to about 17, 18 millimeters when it use it with this APS-C sensor, all the way to 155 millimeters. Now, the various lenses that are in the lineup of this camera are very versatile. So that means you can take this camera and virtually have a number of options to use. Now, the one drawback, of course, is that because they are uh, multi-length, multi-focal lengths, is that the, the differences, the apertures that it opens up to is between 3.5 to 4.5, 4.6, which means that when the camera is at use, it will mean that you cannot use it in very low light situations. Now what I have on this is a 23 millimeter, which translates to about 35 millimeter in, in full frame. And it's an F2. An F2 is a very versatile one because you can use it in low light situations. Furthermore, Leica recently introduced another camera uh, uh, that is very beautiful, which is the SL series. And the, the fitting on that is a TL mount. This is a T mount. And TL mount also applies to, to Leica T product. So you can put on top of this a 35 millimeter Simulux, which is an F1.4. Now that means basically you have a vers versatility of using prime lenses as well as multifocal lengths. Now, one of the reasons why people have not liked this camera is that it doesn't have buttons in the back. And I like that. It doesn't have buttons because the buttons, as in the past, are, are dedicated. This one is more like an iPhone or a smartphone where you can actually decide on the menus that you want to have in the back by taking a, any of the number of various options that are available or about you might be called considering applications and place it on the menu that you would like to use most often. And more important is a bright 5.7 inch screen. That means when you are using this camera like an, like an a smartphone, you can focus and you can look in the back of the screen like here and see exactly what you will be getting. Now also like a smartphone, there's a swipe function which means after you have taken the photo, you can swipe up or down to view the photograph, or you can swipe left to right to go one forward or one back. Now, with all that functionality, you might be asking, what would be the reason you would want to buy this? Now, for one, this is an APS-C size sent sensor, which that means is you will be letting go of the full frame. But... On the other side, you will be gaining in size, which is a very compact one. It is extremely well built because this little notch here allows you to hold it very comfortably in your hand. It doesn't slip and it's very solid. Now, for those who need to use the flash, there's a flush that pops out from here, which I have never used. 
and two little dials here which allows you to go and change the aperture or many of the very settings that are assigned to this and it's a one hand function so you can turn the camera on or off via here and that for me is a very big plus because most cameras require you to use both hands and obviously like i again here attempt to do something very unique which was to do as minimalistic as possible obviously this does have video function video function is one of the features that all cameras currently have almost but it's not the reason what i would use this camera for it's 1080 30 frames per second is a very decent number but the recording of sound or other functions is very limited so for that very reason this camera is basically dedicated for photography rather than moving images on the other hand the one of the other functions that i have to mention is most cameras of this compact size they don't have viewfinders this doesn't have a viewfinder but you can place a viewfinder on top which is a visa flex and it's a one round ugly piece of equipment in my point of view but it does allow you to use it now when you raise your uh, the camera to your eye level it takes a split second before it comes on you can view it but if i'm going to shoot with this camera i would rather use the back screen and what beautiful feature is this you can remove this dedicated t-mount of this camera as such and you can place one of those t and mount adapters that i have on this now what i'm holding in my hand is a voigtlander 12 millimeter because like unfortunately does not produce 12 millimeter uh, prime lens and i place it on here and with the t-mount is not very much bigger if you can see than a 23 millimeter that i'm holding in my hand what this gives me is an 18 millimeter uh, ultra wide angle so what that means is i can use this camera virtually for uh, taking landscapes i can take it uh, for architectural photography or of number, numerous applications. And what I think I like about it is that it has almost no vignette. Now, uh, for those who want to use this with, uh, with other lens options like the 11 to 23 millimeter, you will have a little bit more protrusion. Now, for me, a compact camera is the one that you can stick into your pocket and go and take photographs. If this thing gets longer and bigger, then there is no point carrying this camera. So if you are going to use this camera, what I would suggest is stick with 35 millimeter, you can do street photography. 35 millimeter serves just about everything you need in terms of uh, basic play of taking uh, portraiture or, or street photography or various options. Or if you wanna go ultra wide, options like 12 millimeter Voigtlander is a p option. Now, what I have done is I have taken this 23 millimeter off and I put the M mount and put the Noctilux on it. Noctilux is, as you know, a very expensive lens. And what it, it came out to is about 75 millimeter. So 75 millimeter is a beautiful focal length if you want to take portraiture. And with the 0 0.95, aperture you can get something that was never possible with the M cameras because no one has ever produced a lens for the M mount that went all the way to opening the aperture to 0.95 now that is an overkill but it gives you the options to to use it in various possibilities now one of the things that I like is this battery thing instead of opening boxes and taking things out you just push this up and it pops but it doesn't fall out so you just do this it comes out and this is the same kind of mount that they use for the s cameras which i think is the brilliant idea and one of the other things you can put your uh one, you can put your memory card in here but what happens if you have your memory card full or if you forgot to take the memory card and put it in well it has internal memory card that allows you to keep photographing even if you have run out of space which is another smart thing that no other camera manufacturers implemented so in a certain way like is pushing new boundaries and for me 
that is a very, very important thing. Now, some people thought like a tea would die out, but unfortunately, what they have figured out is with the, uh, uh, with the launch of the Leica SL series, which is a full frame professional camera, and the mount being TL, well, these cameras are gonna be around for a long time. Now, what would I do with this one is, I could put this in my bag and do my photography either with the SL camera or like the Leica M, and then for one reason or another, if I want to use this one as a backup camera, I could just put the M mount uh, adapter and put any of the lenses that I have and use it, which is a beautiful feature. Now, people have asked me various times if they should get the Leica Q or the Leica T. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages if you are only dedicated to using a one focal length and you are very happy with it and that you are, you know, daddy at home wants to take the picture of the child or if you want to take your portraits of your wife that's very fine but if you want to have the versatility of using multiple focal lengths and multiple lenses then like a t will serve you better now of course there's the difference of being the aps-c versus the full-size sensor well full-size sensor is good but for 98 percent of the applications that i'm aware of uh, uh, APS-C cameras, uh, megapixels, will pretty much match anything that a normal person would need. Even for professional needs, I printed out uh, ver numerous various kinds of uh, portraitures on paper, with the exceptions of ultralight ones. This pretty much serves all needs. Now, of course, people have been adamantly saying, like a cue, like a cue, like a cue. Well, I would recommend you go to DxO, which is the official um, kind of comparer of cameras, and you'll see the various cameras that are offered by Sony and other ones. And I suggest you look at the markings. Like Q, unfortunately, does not rank as high in overall performance. But regardless, if you want to go with that camera, that's fine. We are talking about Leica T, which in a very unique way is, is a camera that is so versatile that anyone can use it and it's very simple. One final thing I want to mention is, is whether you should be getting uh, one of the other competitors like the Fuji or the Sony. Now, personally, I'm a Leica lover and the reason I like Leica is because of the colors, because of the real reality of pictures that I receive. There is nothing that I know renders as beautiful coloration and contrast as the Leica cameras. And that's the reason why I like it. That's the reason why I use it. Now, I, I have used many numerous uh, brands in my, in my professional work, but every time that I want to get capture images that are truly moving, my hand always goes to a Leica product. And when I take with me a camera like a Leica M, I always take a backup camera for any professional work. And Leica T has been on the side of my bag. And that's the one I take out whenever I'm going for travel. This doesn't disturb or attract attention that is undue. This doesn't look like a big DSLR camera. So this one, I can take it out of my pocket, take a few pictures, doesn't intimidate, it doesn't offend anyone and you can use it and i appreciate you watching this review and i hope to see you in our next review thank you